When the moon is completely full, oysters naturally open up. At this time, if a crab finds an open oyster, it takes advantage of the situation and eats the oyster. Just as if you open your mouth more than necessary, your fate might become similar to that of the oyster, or even worse. Often we hear that silence is the language of the wise, but have you ever wondered why? Allow me to explain, tracing back to the beginning of humanity. Humans used to believe that rare things are valuable and common things are cheap. Take gold, for instance. It's considered precious due to its limited availability. This perception led ancient civilizations to incorporate gold in their religious rituals, symbolizing happiness and prosperity. Likewise, your words hold value based on how they're delivered. Speaking sparingly and clearly will garner respect. People appreciate words they hold in esteem, even if seemingly trivial. Most importantly, the more you speak, the higher the chance of being disliked or perceived as unimportant. With a few historical exceptions, such as ancient Rome, Marcus was a formidable military hero, achieving remarkable victories. He saved Rome from destruction numerous times. Initially, Marcus was mostly known for his battlefield prowess, appearing almost mythical to people, like a guardian angel. However, he used his military and political influence to run for the position of consul, the highest in Rome. To win, candidates had to address the people before the elections. Marcus delivered an eloquent speech, touching upon his scars and wounds, symbols of his dedication and valor. His words resonated deeply, ensuring his victory. But on election day, he shifted his tone, targeting the wealthy with arrogant and condescending words, turning the tide against him. The populace revolted, and he was sentenced to prison for life after intervention by nobles. This tale highlights that Marcus's name inspired awe and greatness. However, as his speech volume increased, the arrogance and conceit emerged, leading to his downfall. The moral, speak less to maintain respect, as hearing amplifies value. The crux of the matter lies in embracing humility and speaking considerately, especially in our times of ideological warfare, where words matter as much as actions. Now, a hypothetical scenario. Imagine having a flash drive containing a millennium's worth of human advancements. You've traveled back a thousand years, needing to prove you're from the future. Could you extract knowledge from the flash drive? Could you recreate computer glitches, gunpowder, or insulin? Could you recall historical events to astonish them? This demonstrates that even though society advances, we often don't. We may vehemently support certain beliefs while ignoring atrocities. Governments and laws might suppress certain issues while prioritizing control. It's a system designed to make people walk a certain path. However, if each of us breaks from the mold, we might revolutionize our individuality, leading to potential societal transformation. In summary, embracing humility, speaking wisely, and promoting genuine progress could pave the way for lasting change. It's crucial to question norms and stand up against the suppression of critical issues. Remember, the greatest trick the devil played was convincing the world he doesn't exist. Joining the herd might seem easy and promising, but true change requires challenging the status quo and nurturing your unique beliefs.